Hey guys, what's up? It's Spammy Dear here once again. And I saw the popularity of my last Naruto video, so I thought I'd do another one. Maybe I'll make a regular thing of it, I don't know yet. But it's always good to see the positive feedback, guys. Thanks very much. So today I thought I'd talk about the first three Ninja Wars because it doesn't get a lot of screen time in the anime and it doesn't get talked about very much. And I thought with some basic knowledge it might help people enjoy the later episodes of Shippuden. So let's start off with the first Ninja War. It's the first war we see ninjas actually developing and using the tactics that we see throughout the programme. And it came about because of the agreement that there was only going to be one ninja village to one nation. And that caused a lot of conflict on how the power would be distributed. But whilst little more than that is actually known about this war, we do know that it ended in the Armistice Treaty. And that was only actually agreed upon after a massive amount of devastation was dealt to the five great nations. Big players you might see in the show during this conflict is the first Hokage, the third Hokage and Donzo before they actually achieved the ranks in which we're familiar with. But unfortunately this treaty only lasted 20 years in total and a war started amongst the lands of fire, earth and rain which prompted the second ninja war. And again not a lot's known about the overall war but we do have a lot more information about this one. But we do know that this is the war in which Orochimaru, Jiraiya and Sanade become the infamous Sanin, three of the most prominent ninjas in the Leaf Village. As a result of this war, Jiraiya stayed back in a land of rain to train three young people how to defend themselves because the state of the nation was so poor. But I'm sure that won't affect anything in the future of course. Some of the prominent ninjas that we actually know about from this war is Hanzo of the Salamander, the three Sanin, it's the war in which the third Hokage was placed. And if you're going to count it, Nagato, but that's not technically part of this war. Now on our final war that actually led up to the programme. This was predominantly fought between the villages hidden in the leaf, stone and grass, and was triggered when the latter two actually attacked the land of fire. In fact, during these early assaults, the enemy forces were actually making good head, but they did come to nearly a halt after the Hanabi bridge was destroyed. And this was destroyed during a skirmish caused by internal disputes between the stone and the grass villages. The Sand Village was also known to take part in various battles at this war, but the Cloud Village took more of a stealthy approach. They tried to lay low and gather secrets about the Leaf Village. In fact, the stealthy actions of the Cloud Village led to the death of Neji's father, as he had to become a sacrifice of peace after trying to protect his niece and killing one of the most prominent ninjas in the Cloud Village. This led to peace between the Cloud and the Leaf, but I think it's also important to note that this is when the third Raikage dies. Uh, in combat, so the cloud isn't actually in a position to betray the leaf. But things get real when a miss join the combat. This is when it starts to affect the main staying characters that we've known to love in the show. What the miss did was capture Rin Nahara and actually made her the third tail's Chinchuriki as an attempt to do massive damage to the leaf village. But you might ask yourself, who's Rin Nahara? Well, Rin Nahara is actually the medical ninja of her team Minato, and she actually saw combat with Kakashi, Minato and Ubito in the four ninja structure. Now these characters are prominent, Minato being the future fourth Hokage, Kakashi being the sixth Hokage, Ubito being a massive player within the fourth ninja war. But it's during this battle with the Mist Ninja that Ubito gives Kakashi his Sharingan eye. But soon after these events, the war ended in a peace treaty yet again. But that's pretty much all the warring events amongst the five great nations right up until the programme. I would cover the fourth ninja war but I think that needs its own video, there's a lot more information about that, a lot more talked about in the show. So I'm going to leave it there. If you want to find out when the next video is, the best way to do that is to subscribe to my channel. I'd also really appreciate a like and a comment, let me know what you guys think about the ninja war and I'll see you guys next time.